What's up guys, welcome back to the Brown Compound. Today's video we're gonna be working on the little 14 foot drum boat that I picked up. I think it's been two weeks now. Everything finally just came in the mail. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. First we're gonna go over everything that I ordered and then I guess we'll just hop right into working on it. All right, as you can see, I got a bunch of stuff, but we're gonna start over here on this side. And the first thing is Gator Glide. This is what we're gonna be putting on the bottom. Uh, I got some stuff from Home Depot, some rollers. Next is the paint. And we've got two cans of like flat black and tan or whatever. And then along with that, we got this package, which is, it's a stencil that we're gonna use on the side and give it the look that, it, that I guess you'll see probably in the thumbnail, which you've already seen. This here we got, um, some undercoat for the trailer, touch up whatever we need to. I got some tail lights, some wire loom, along with a new amp for the radio. And then we got a new set of switches, a battery switch. This here is carpet. And uh, this was a, or this is a kill switch for the motor that I got. And we got some hinges. This is a, white light for the back of the boat and then this is a grab bar so i got everything laid out the boat is grinded down on the bottom and sanded on the sides it's sitting off the trailer ready to go so i guess the first thing i'm gonna do is break out the gator glide get that ready and we'll start applying that on the bottom Let that sit there for a minute. Now we're just gonna shake it. Shake it as good as we possibly can. While we're shaking it, I'll show you. I got the, the um, whole boat taped off, ready to go. We're gonna go down like, I, it was. I measured four inches all the way around. So, yeah, we're just gonna shake this thing, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, pour it out in one of our trays, and we'll start rolling it. You now it's supposed to be going on light. So we're just gonna get some of this off the roller. We're just gonna roll, roll, roll until it's all on there. All right, guys, we're on roller number two. We're about halfway through the, um, the container I got. And almost done. I should say halfway done. That took me about two hours. Finally got it all rolled on. Okay, you wanna hold this for me real quick? I'll think about it. I peeled the tape off. Get the last little piece off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we can just let this sit here and dry. Give it some time to rest before we flip it back over. And while I was in the middle of doing that, I had a special part come in. If you keep up with the other videos, you'd know. Bingo. I got a 24 pitch prop for the little white boat. So we're gonna throw that on there and go test it out. What'd you think? Take the boat out? Yes, sir. Maybe go on the river too? All right, guys, it's the next day. The Gator Glide is all dry. Turned out pretty good. Super slippery. So slippery to where the tape won't even stick to it. So, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. But I just got the whole thing wiped down with lacquer thinner. I'm fixing to get the paint, shake it up, pour some out, 
We'll just get to rolling. I wonder how thick I should put it on. Probably not that thick, right? <laughs> it probably won't even stick to the Gator Glide. Probably just wipe it right off. Not much more to see here. So I'm gonna get this knocked out real quick. Show you before I hit the second coat on it. All right, guys, I just put on one of these foam rollers to see what it does. Cause that roller that I was just using is this keeps on falling apart and getting stuck in the paint. So we're gonna see what this looks like. Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna use. All right, that's the first coat done. The other side honestly looks a little bit better because I switched to the, um, the high density foam roller. You can see over here, kind of gives you that orange peel look. Over here, not so much. <sighs> I hate painting. Painting stresses me out. My wrist hurts. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna get some more paint. Hit it one more time. All right, while this is drying, we're gonna take this undercoat, come out here to the trailer, and as you can tell, there's a lot of spots that either didn't get painted or it's coming off. So we're just gonna go around Paint this thing up, make it look as good as I can. Alright, so that was two full cans. I did the best I could till I ran out. It sort of looks a little brown right now, but it's still drying. Got as much as I can. There's still a couple spots that have some white, but that's all right. Fine with me. Looks better than it did before. All right, so we're like two hours after the second coat. I'm just gonna go around and just peel this stuff off. Comes off pretty easy. We did sand this down and lacquer thinner everything. And I had to run to Home Depot real quick. Get some more rollers. And I also got these like foam brushes. But I'm about to knock this thing out real quick. About to lay it down. The last time you'll see it looking like this. We're about halfway through the first coat. Ben's over here helping me. Making things go by two times faster. So it's the next day. And the next step to this process would be to get all the spots we couldn't get with the roller. So you can see this corner, and like this corner, or down underneath, or up against there. You know, like all the little spots that the roller couldn't get. All right, so I got all the spots filled. There shouldn't be any spots that need paint. All right, so we're fixing to just take it outside. I went ahead and painted the boards on the side that you're gonna see when you open it. Open up the hatch. Be easier? No, I think it'd be fine going like this.
All right, so we got the second one. Just finished up with the first stencil. Now I use this with black and see how that looks. Alright, so we got the sides finished. Turned out pretty good. Now we're about to go on the inside. We got our templates over here. Ready to go. You ready? Let's get it. Should be able to knock it out, no problem. Alright, that process use uh next we're gonna do the floor actually no we're gonna do the floor last so we're gonna do the spray the black we'll spray the black over everything that we've done so far and then we'll do the floor because a couple spots we had to stand inside and then i also want to do all the boards that i got for uh the seats the bottom so whenever you flip the the um the cabinet up or the compartment up, I'm sorry, yeah, it'll have camo on it. All right, here's a little update on the second stencil. We're giving it some time to dry because it was starting to drip. It started to drip right here. That's all right though. So we'll do the fronts of the chairs or the seats and then we'll spray the tan on the floor. I'm currently painting the transom pieces and I just opened up a piece of carpet. Perfect size. This is the biggest piece and that'll work just fine. I got my staple gun right here. So I'm gonna flip it over and cover up the side that isn't painted. And I'll just fold it over and hit it with a staple gun and that part will be finished. So we got two boards wrapped in carpet. I got my decoys up front. We just threw the transom together. And we're gonna use flashlights because that's all we need. So we're gonna take the um, this thing here, screw that down, toss the motor on it, ready to go. All right, y'all, it's Sunday. I just got done with work. But last night I busted out a couple of things like I mounted the light bar, I mounted the navigation lights, I got the hinges, everything's done. I mounted the switch panel and the last thing I did was actually take that back. I mounted the tail lights and I also put the uh, kill switch on there. And yeah, that's it's getting pretty close to being done. But I'm really liking the how I did that. There's camo underneath. Got all my decoys in there. I was supposed to hunt this morning, but I ended up having to work. So yeah, now what I have to do is wire up the tail lights, wire up the light bar, the navigation lights, um, the radio, and huh, I think that's about it. I'm gonna put the speakers in, and once I put the speakers in, that's everything that needs to go in, other than. Um, the white light for the back, which we're going to mount this like, uh, back here by somewhere like, oh, it looks like someone already had one mounted there. Perfect. All the holes line up too. We got a, a lot of wiring to do. Not, not too much, but a lot of wiring that I don't want to do. <laughs> All right, y'all. I just want to show this process. That's what I'm doing here with the wiring. We got um, a wire cut for the light bar and the front navigation lights. And I'm putting it in a wire loom. What I'm doing is just, look, just pushing over, pulling, pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling. Now this whole entire piece, get all that put into a wire loom. And then we'll run that from the light bar and the other light back here to the switch panel. Anyways, yep, we're wiring. I'm trying to get it done. All right, so this is the final product. You got a switch back here. 
and underneath of this we have everything wired up zip tied real nice and in this box we have our amp I went ahead and screwed it to the bottom I had it on the side but it wouldn't close but all the wires are ran in here through holes and yeah that should keep that dry enough <clears throat> so whenever I turn this switch on back here the light will come on the green light and then up front we have that is our light bar and then this is our navigation which is that white light right here and then the green and red up front and then the third one turns on our radio right if i leave it on and then turn the switch off it stays on so like it's off turn it on it comes on by the switch so i'll play something that is not copyright <laughs> Next thing I'm doing is mounting this. Everything else is finished, but of course I'm having motor problems. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but it, it keeps locking up. And then if I spin the um, prop backwards, it'll turn over again. So I don't know, I think it's got the wrong spark plug in it. I ordered a carburetor for it. Should be here today. All right, so when I hit the key, it's just locked up, right? If I come back over here, and spin the prop backwards should turn over it had like a little hiccup you know? it's trying but the spark plug it was all the way bent in, touching the nipple. So I gave it a little bit of gap. I don't know what I gave it, but it don't want to run now. I don't understand how it could have gotten any spark being bent all the way over. And I was thinking maybe the piston hit it, it was the wrong length, but when I bent it back and gave it some gap, and I put it back in there and turned it over, pulled it out again, it wasn't dented in. So unless it made it like an impression on the piston, but I doubt it. But right now what I'm doing is trying to mount this um, grab bar so I cut out two of these pieces of Akusa board super light super strong it's like fiberglass and foam or whatever it is I don't know but we're gonna wrap these in carpet and instead of using the two by fours this is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna lay them down like that just this is rough estimated throw this on there it'll be like that but that's gonna be carpet so that way we can drill this in and then we can drill our our grab bar in and hopefully that'll be strong enough which i'm not going to be ripping on it but it's just it's got to be sturdy enough to grab onto yeah we're going to get these things wrapped up and then drilled in here then we can mount this real quick and then i can get this carburetor put on and i got a new spark plug for this motor just not here yet it's supposed to be here by nine so six to nine, it's five o'clock. Six to nine. <laughs> It'll be here about six to nine minutes. It's finally mounted in here. I got um, everything bolted up. I pulled the boat out some so I could straighten out the motor and get it somewhere where I thought was comfortable. Which, I mean, I can't use both my hands and hold the camera, but you get the point. She's secured down. So we're gonna test her out in the morning. I'm still waiting on Amazon to deliver my spark plug and carburetor. So as long as they come in clutch with that, 
by nine o'clock we're gonna swap that on this motor and hopefully go duck hunting in the morning come on amazon drive force drive uh, i get, just got the new spark plug in there and i had to use a smaller size versus whatever size this what is this 13 16th for the old spark plug so we're gonna see if it'll fire up before i change the whole entire carb and stuff here before we do all that. shouldn't do this here hold it Bolts apart. So you can get this whole thing to. Oh! There are two bolts and the whole freaking carburetor fell apart. Alright, so we gotta disconnect our throttle cable right there. And that's in this hose right here. With the two things. Got the new carburetor on. That took about five seconds. Slid down, I'm trying to get this little fuel line. There we go. All right, so that was super easy. Two gaskets, all I had to do on the carburetor was put this little um, choke thing on there, or switch. Put that back on there like that never happened. Gas is on. Come out right over here. Ooh, I like that switch. It makes a noise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hot. Let's see what happens. Was one hose and two nuts the whole carburetor slid off slid on new gaskets boom done i think we're ready to ride dude honestly we'll go take it out tomorrow see what she'll do see if we got a paddle back or not Thank you. 